victims of the almighty Sarlacc. His Excellency hopes that you will die. Honorably. Hey everyone, Scooby-Doo here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing a retro review on the 1-6 scale R2-D2 by Sideshow. And for comparison, I also have the Hot Toys uh, R2, which is right here. And then I have the Spiro uh, Smart App Droid, which is right here to the right. Now as far as size goes, uh, these two right here are pretty similar in size. And this one here is about, I'd say, a centimeter or two, a little bit smaller. And it's also not very detailed. Uh, and I think that's mostly because it's not weathered or anything. So the first thing we're going to do so we can do a full comparison is to go ahead and get this one weathered up. All right, so now that I got them weathered, we can do another comparison. Not so much how they look alike because R2 looked different in uh, different movies, but just if you can use them in any of your dioramas with your 1-6 scale. So... The last comparison is actually going to be putting him with a C-3PO and we'll do the Hot Toys first. Let's kind of move the camera up here. Now again, the Hot Toys is my favorite one, but this isn't a review uh, on the Hot Toys or it's on the Sideshow. I just wanted to just add this extra segment to the video. We'll get the art hot toys one out of the way. We'll go ahead and get him lit up. And then the final one, we're going to go ahead and put him with our little guy here. And to add a little bit, we'll go ahead and connect him to the app really quickly so we can see what he looks like lit up. And I don't think he looks that bad. I, I, I think the size works. Uh, and it's definitely a great alternative because you can get these Spiros used on eBay for very little money. I think this one I paid $35 used, but I've seen them go for $25 and around like $40, bucks. whereas of course the Sideshow and the Hot Toys go for much more. And again, you know, he's kind of cool. Right? All right, so there's a kind of a comparison. Now we're actually going to be getting on to the review. That's actually pretty cool for 35 bucks. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so now we're going to get on to the retro review of the Sideshow R2. Getting started right now. All right, now that we got everything else put away, we can now do the retro review slash... Um, Relook at this figure. Um, I was pretty impressed when it first came out. The only thing I didn't like about it was the fact that mostly all of it was all plastic. But it did have a lot of cool features like this lightsaber here with the magnetic tip where you can open up some of these compartments. Had this restraining bolt that was magnetic that would stick on to the R2. Um, it also had a lot of compartments up top and you're going to see right here, like when I just turn it upside down, a lot of the stuff just kind of opened up on its own, which I thought was kind of lame. Um, but then again, I didn't plan holding it like this all the time. So I took him out of the box and I think I actually had him posed with Princess Leia. It's this cool periscope, periscope, excuse me, right up here on the top. Um, but again, you can just see how the, all this stuff just kind of pops open. So I would just pose him with my Princess Leia and I left him just like that. And that's where he stayed for a couple of years. And now that we're revisiting or redoing the Fet Tantooine Jabba's Palace uh, wall, I remembered that uh, Sideshow did give a lot of accessories to this R2 and, and so I just kind of wanted to show those off and uh, show you where I'm going to be going with this particular R2. So 
move him out of the way really quickly. And also, too, the box really wasn't that bad either. Um, get this further back. Had a window opening with the magnetic side to it. And you see where you got tons of accessories. And the one I'm most interested in is the uh, wet bar uh, Java's uh, barge setup. And so we're going to go ahead and get this stuff out of the box really quickly and we're going to set them up. All right, so his first setup here was the Princess Leia holographic scene. And it came with this really nice uh, table and she lit up. Now I apologize for the light in the R2. The batteries are just running really low. Um, but you had this set up. Which you could put with uh, Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Which I thought was kind of cool. And then it also came with some of these other accessories that you can actually install in some of his compartments. I'm not going to actually do that, but I will show you the picture on the box. Get the box really close. You can see here on the box where you could set all those different things up. And that's how the light should look. So you can kind of have it shining on Princess Leia. And again, really cool diorama display look for the R2. But we're focusing more on the uh, other accessory, which is again, the wet bar for Java's barge. And uh, I'm gonna get him set up with that really quickly. All right, so there we go. We got R2 serving drinks on the Katana. Uh, I never would have thought two years ago when I purchased uh, this figure that I was going to be using these particular accessories, but hey, I guess we're going to. And that's why, again, I wanted to re-review this figure because I actually think it's kind of funny. I'll have C-3PO holding the drink. Kind of cool. I also want to give a uh, shout out to uh, Alvaro. He's a eBay seller, uh, which allowed me to purchase at a very good price, uh, another C-3PO. Now this isn't the actual one that I purchased from him, but I have that one in the box. So thank you uh, for sending that to me and allowing me to uh, build this diorama. I really find that in the Star Wars community, you really will get a lot of people that will help you out uh, with builds and information. And it's the same reason why I have this channel, so I can kind of share the stuff that I do. Um, now the only thing left I need is a 1-6 scale Jabba the Hutt. Now that one I am not going to purchase. Uh, but like a few years ago, I think I did have uh, a few of my subscribers actually offer to give me some figures. Which at the time I wouldn't have been able to use, so I told them no I didn't need them but um, hey if there's somebody out there that has a 1-6 scale sideshow Jabba with his palace and wants to donate it to my channel I'll be more than glad to take it now I don't actually have the space for it but I would build a brand new shelf um, if I were to get that right now we're just going to be using I'll just show you really quickly over here I'm using the uh, black series 6 inch Jabba and it's kit bashed with the 3.75 Throne, which I still got to do a little bit of painting on, um, and that will be going up on the wall as well. But uh, again, uh, thank you, Alvaro, for the great price on the C3PO. I look forward to getting that up onto the wall and building this uh, current diorama. So if you have any questions or comments regarding anything that you've seen here today, feel free to leave a question or a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. We have a bunch of um, new dioramas going up. I actually have 
a few new figures that I'm going to be doing reviews on as well, hopefully this week uh, that I have coming in because as I've been doing the redesign, um, it's allowed me uh, to develop some other displays and so I was able to purchase a couple more figures and then also do some pre-orders. Oh, and by the way, if you guys didn't know, uh, and another reason for doing this and changing things up a little bit is I saw that Sideshow uh, is going to be doing a Lando in a skiff guard outfit. So how cool is that um, to be able to add to the wall as well? I don't know when that's going to come out. That might not come out for like another year or something, but I did uh, read up on it the other day. So... All right, so that's it. I hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend, and we shall talk to you guys later.